Now, next point is linear regression. Once a linear relationship has been shown to have high probability by the value of correlation coefficient r. From correlation coefficient r, we can identify is there linear relationship present or not. R value is in between plus and minus 1. When plus and minus 1 value is there, then there is a linear relationship. Plus 1, then positive linear re relationship and when minus 1, there is a negative linear relationship. But when R is equal to 0, that means there is a no relation between the X value and the Y value. From R value, we can identify there is a linear relationship and when there is a linear relationship that means y is directly proportional to x and we can find out the base straight line through the given data points. Again there is a, another method to find out the linear relationship and this is the linear regression method and you know very well the second name of this method name of this method is least square method least square method by using least square method we can find out the slope and the intercept here as if your background is mathematical then you know very well the straight line equations y is equal to mx and y is equal to mx plus c. These two are equations. y is equal to mx. Then graph is like this. And when y is equal to mx plus c, then your plot will be like this. This one is y, this one is x, m is slope and c is the intercept. Here we have to use this equation instead of m and instead of c we are going to write b and a respectively. This type of plot will observe when we use this equation. Here y depends on the x but x does not depend on y. Therefore y is called as a dependent variable and x is called as a independent variable. For example for example, the regression line which is obtained for the experiment atomic absorption spectrophotometer. On y axis there is absorption, on x axis there is a concentration and slope is B and the intercept will be E. To obtain a base straight line equation, initially we have to find out B and A. Here B is the slope and A is the intercept. And the equations are given here. B means slope is equal to n. n means number of readings into summation of x1 into y1 minus summation of x1 into summation of y1 divided by n into summation of x1 square minus in a bracket summation of x1 bracket complete and bracket raised to 2. Again as previous these two terms are totally different. Here we suppose in our problem these two values are given suppose x is a concentration y is absorbance then we can write here x1 and y1 values after putting all values and adding all values we can find out x1 summation of x1 here add all the values we will get summation of y1 then we have to find out summation of x1 y1 then multiply these two columns, these two columns multiply, then finally add all the values we will get summation of x1 into y1, next obviously summation of x1 is here, summation of y1 is here, summation of x1, y1 is here, now this term is different, summation of x1 square, simply just square of this value x1 square, add all values Finally, we will get summation of x1 square. Now, all values are ready. Put these values in respective formula and we will find out the value of b. That means slope. Next, now 
This equation is for intercept. A is intercept which is equal to y bar minus bx bar. Here x bar and y bar are the mean values. Just find out mean of all these values. Means how to find out mean? x1 bar is equal to summation of x1 divided by n. Now from this equation we will find out summation of x1. Here again same y1 bar which is equal to summation of y1 divided by number of radians. And above b value you can put here. We can easily find out a value. This is all about linear regression method. Linear regression method is used to find out the best straight line y is equal to bx plus a. Before that we have to find out the value of slope and value of the intercept. Now we are going to solve problem on linear, linear regression method. Here is the problem. Calculate by the least squares method the equation of the best straight line for the calibration curve given as it follows. Concentration of quinine x1 and unit is microgram per mm. Here are the five concentrations b1. Next parameter is fluorescence intensity which is drawn on y axis. 0, 5.20, 9.90, 15 and 19.10. This is the data and we have to find out the best straight line equation. Y is equal to Bx plus A. Means initially we have to find out B, then A and after that put B and A values in the equation of Y is equal to Bx plus A. And Y value also given here. Remaining problem is if the fluorescence intensity of the test solution containing quinine was found to be 16.1 percent then find out concentration of unknown quinine in a microgram per ml means from this data we have to find out b and a here is the y value y is equal to b x plus a rearrange the equation and find out the concentration of the unknown now the answer straight line equation is y is equal to b x plus a the plot will be as this Fluorescence intensity is drawn on y-axis, concentration on x-axis, b is the slope and a is the intercept. Now, the table preparation is much more important. You can try yourself to prepare table from the formula. In exam, you have to prepare yourself this table. Initially, put the given values of x1 and y1, then do square of x1 here. Then multiplication of x1 and y1. This all terms I have taken from the formula of B. As formula of B is B is equal to n into summation of x1 y1 minus summation of x1 into summation of y1 divided by n into summation of x1 square minus in a bracket summation of x1 bracket complete bracket is to Two. Here, summation of x1, y1 is required. Therefore, x1, y1 column is here. Here is the x1. Summation of x1, therefore, x1. After adding all the terms, we get summation of x1. After adding all y1 values, we will get summation of y1. Summation of x1 square is also required. Therefore, do its square here. And after adding all the values, we will get summation of x1 square. Here is the summation of x1. After adding all values, we will get summation of x1. All the terms are here you can put your values x1 y1 and on your calculator do square of the values do multiplication of these two columns and after adding all the columns you will get all these values you can solve problem yourself here i have written all the values in the table x1 values y1 values x1 square x1 y1 here after adding x1 column we will get summation of x1 value is 1 here summation of y1 value is 49.5 x1 square after adding all the values we will get summation of x1 square which is equal to 0.30 and after multiplying these two columns here we will get these values and the total is 14.73 here summation of x1 is 1 obviously summation of x1 bracket square value will be 1 from the summation of x1 we have to find out x bar value x bar means mean of x values which is equal to summation of x1 divided by 1 
sorry, divided by n. Therefore, 1 divided by 5, which is equal to 0.2. n is equal to 5, 5 number of readings are here. Therefore, x bar value is 0.2. And y bar value, which is again obtained as the same way, y bar is equal to summation of y1 divided by n, 49.5 divided by 5. Therefore, y bar value comes 9.9. .9. Now, put all the values in equation 1 and equation 2 and we will find out the slope and intercept. Here, after putting all the values in the equation 1, B value comes 48.3. Now, intercept A is equal to Y bar minus BX bar. Y bar is 9.9. .9. Minus sign as it is, B value is 48.3 and X bar value is 0.2. After calculating, A value is 0.24. Now, we have B and A values. From these values, we can find the equation of best straight line. y is equal to bx plus a as y is equal to b value 48.3 and x as it is plus a 0.24. This is our straight line equation. Now in problem there is one thing is given. Here the fluorescence intensity of the quinoine T solution is given 16.1. That means here Y is given. We have B and A values. We can easily find out X. X is the concentration of unknown quinine which is in microgram per ml. Therefore put Y is equal to 16.1. Then 16.1 is equal to 48.3 into x plus 0.24. Now we have to find out x value. Six, rearrange the equation as 16.1 minus 0.24 which is equal to 48.3 into x. The value of x comes 15.86 divided by 48.3 and after calculating the final value is 0.32 microgram per m. Therefore, concentration of T solution or unknown will be 0.32 and it is microgram per m. Okay, now the final conclusion is from linear uh, regression method or from least square method, we can initially find out the slope and the intercept and then we can find out the base straight line equation y is equal to bx plus a. If y value is given then we can find out the concentration of the unknown substance.